Hey guys, Ru here with none of it for Blender and in this one I want to show you how to create uh, cool shapes with angons uh, like this, all right? There's a lot of people asking me how the hell do you do it in, uh, you know, in box cutter and I'm going to show you today. It's very simple, right? Just a quick reminder, guys, uh, we have a 25% discount running on Gamroad and BlenderBros.com right now. So if you're interested in getting our stuff, at the really crazy low prices this is the time to hop on so go to gamroad or blenderbros.com and use a coupon spring 21 everything in lowercase uh, all the links uh, is in the video description happy easter everyone so what you need to do is go to ngon so if you're in the box mode press d and you know go to ngon with box cutter on and then you need to turn off this cyclic here on the top, right? Just turn it off, right? When you switch it off, you can actually start drawing a shape like this. And when you want to increase thickness, you just press T uh, for solidification. It's actually the same as in box cutter when you cut something and press T for solidification. Whoa, that's a big one. Hang on. Let me just shift to life uh, one more time. T for solidification and shift to life and then press Q and solidify and solidify down. And there you go. So you just press T to change this value, right? So with an Angon, you do a similar thing. So you go to Angon and you just simply, you know, click and drag one more time, turn off cyclic. You see without cyclic, it doesn't work. Turn off cyclic, do something like this and then press T and you can make it skinnier. Now, Theoretically, you could run a bevel on it, so press B for bevel, but you see it says beveling, but it's not doing anything. Now, when you apply this and run it, you will see the bevel actually was applied. So it's a visual bug that's been there for ages uh, with this angle cut, and um, apparently it's probably difficult to fix it or something, but um, this doesn't really work uh, very well. So what you can do to bevel it, just simply do it manually. So when you run this thing, right, and then press tab to apply it and then you simply move it up and click uh, you can go to edit mode just don't forget that these are just edges it's not actually a, because it's solidified right? it's a plane that's been deformed in this fashion it is solidified so it's not just you know a complete geo yet Control b and you can you know bevel it this way right so uh, once you apply the solidification because like i said it has solidify on it so if you apply it here you know um, you'll see that this is a full geo now, right? So you can, you know, go here and bevel it differently like this, for example, right? If you want to um, very easily be able to cancel this whole shape with one click, what you can do is go here to options, go to input and turn on right mouse button cancel angon. This will allow you to very quickly cancel the whole shape with one click of right mouse button, right? So if you make a mistake, you want to cancel it. I really like using it this way. Another tip I can give you is that um, out of the box, uh, this angle lock is disabled. So when you start drawing something, it's going to be a bit wobbly. So you need to hold control to snap it to edges, I mean to, to the grid. Or go to D menu and select this one and turn on the angle lock. So then you can actually hold control to release it. But when you, you know, let, off, let go uh, of the control, it's gonna start snapping again so you know there you go then press t again right then click or press tab it doesn't matter and then move and click and you got the wall right that's how i create walls for my uh for the for presenting the trim sheets so when i bevel this right like that and go to edit mode Control r to add the loop and then select this one with alt press d uh, and w to turn off the box cutter press d for uh, trim sheet and let's just I'll click on this and go to look dev you'll see that I'm gonna have a trim sheet applied to it so this is a really cool way of presenting trim sheets because it's a curved uh, surface so you can really see you know whether something is deforming properly or not so let me just grab this one and add it to the trim sheet boom right so you see it's really cool for showing uh, the flow uh, of the trim sheet anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video give us a like and sub if you did and the links to box cutter and hard ups in the video description so grab them if you don't have them and if you're interested in trim sheets we have a course on trim sheets a to z environment design with trim sheets as well as a pack there are three trim sheets in the pack so there's a lot of trim sheets um, uh, material out there on the market by blender bros so anyway thanks for watching and catch you next one